All right, guys, it is time. Let's bring it out. Well, what do we got here, George? Man, I think this is our new Vector HD 580. Awesome. All right, park it right there. This, Check this out. box is enormous. Huge. What, what did we get here? So we're going to unbox this in real time. This is going to be our for, first experience actually unboxing the new Vector HD 580. I'm super excited about it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the pallet jack down so it doesn't roll away here. And yeah, let's start opening it up. I All see right. a few boxes on top. Let's I start see, with this one. Yeah, let's get this. Let me get the... Here, I've got a knife. You got a knife? Yeah. We always lose the knife. You know how it is. Absolutely. We'll get the batteries over here as well. Wow, those batteries are not light. <laughs> Holy moly. Ugh. All right. Ah, this looks like a remote. Remote. Okay. Oh, I like this case. Oh, check that that's out. That's great. Let me go ahead and open that up. Yeah, and we'll get you guys a little bit closer look here while we go to set it up. Right now, we're just getting it everything out of the box. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a nice looking case. Wow, this box I is pretty heavy too. I see a little toolkit in here. Nice screwdriver, charger, and of course, let's let's just take a look at the remote here. It's like Christmas in May here in Florida. All right. That looks great. Here's the remote. Got the charger here with the built-in cooling system. Can you tell we're excited? Like we just jumped right in here. Oh, I like how it comes with uh, two auxiliary batteries, too. Also comes with two and different charging cords. Nice. Which will need to be adjusted. Yeah, we already know we need an adapter for yep, the charging, for the charging cord, cord, which we have coming. So a couple cool things about this drone. Um, the charger and cooling station is all built in in one. This drone's got a uh, 70 liter, 18, almost 19 gallon spray tank. So it's gonna hang up there with the big boys on the productivity side. Everything feels really, really well built. Yeah, I got a sense of quality just holding this equipment. Oh man, these batteries are heavy. Ooh. Yeah, they're no joke. So these batteries are actually in, oh, let's not walk too far forward here so people can see it. Um, these batteries are actually an 18 cell battery. So a lot higher voltage than what we're used to with, uh, with other platforms that we've used in the past. So very cool. All That's right. Great. So it's time. It is. Let's do Hold it. On, let me do it. Let me, let me do it like this. <laughs> ah, there oh, look we at go. That. <laughs> I don't even know how this opens, to be honest. This is the first time I've opened one of these new. Looks like we gotta pull this up. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, throw that aside. This sucker's not getting damaged in transit. Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> wow, okay. It's tied down to a, to, to a wooden bar at the bottom. We might have to readjust here before we can actually remove it, because I don't think... Well, let's see if we take... The, oh, here we go. We just take this... Does it have oh, handles on that handles side? Oh, it's got handles right here. Oh, my Sweet. gosh. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Oh, I think it's got a staple or something on this side. Hang on. There we go. Wow. Holy cow. Look at that, Look big at reveal. That. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna put it back in the box. We'll have to re undo the video. Yeah, no see doubt. See what we're doing. Throw this stuff away. Uh -huh. Here it is. Quick fill. That's oh, nice. Yeah, they've added the quick fill lid. They've been very responsive about these uh, new, up new updates we've been requesting, so that's fantastic. Yeah, they had that done right away. That's great. Look at that. It looks great. I think this is the best packaging I've seen on a, one of these this big This is pretty drones. impressive. Yeah, Definitely awesome. not going to get damaged in transit, that's Notice for sure. Notice something else in the propellers that's different from our prototype ones. Uh, and they've also... It's all color-coded yeah, color now. color-coded the, the props now, which is nice. We asked them to do that. 
Yeah, fantastic. All right, let's bring you guys a little bit closer and show you guys around the drone. Get back to unpacking. Uh, we just noticed that there's wires that are attached around the, the legs. Um, so you're gonna need a set of wire cutters. Um, that's pretty, on there pretty good. There you go. One on each more. leg. Look at the headlights on this thing. <laughs> that's gonna be bright for all those people during their night ops. That's right. That our FAA compliance officer, Joy, is gonna take care of for them. <laughs> she might be behind the camera. She <laughs> might be. <laughs> all right, all right. move it off yeah, the- Yeah, let's move it off the- The pallet box real quick. I you wanna do this? All right, ready? We'll just move it this way, and then we'll pull the pallet. Man, this sucker's heavy. Yeah, it is, and it doesn't even have the battery in it yet. Let's get this right, pallet jack out of here. move this out of the way. All right, well, a couple standout things immediately on this drone. I mean, the motors and props are just enormous on it. These are some seriously heavy duty motors. Um, spray tank, gigantic. 70 liters. Yep, yep, Is we got two big pumps gallons? down here in the bottom. Uh, I like that they put the battery in the front, which is the lowest part of the drone. It's a lot easier to reach in and out. You'll see that when we put our batteries in. I love these latches. Yeah, let's go ahead and Pretty heavy open duty. up the arms. So we'll open up our latches and just unfold our, our arms here. And... All right, so I mean, right off the bat, you know, one thing that I can see with this drone versus its competition is just how easy it is to set up. I mean, you guys are seeing us do this in real time for the first time. We have flown one of these drones before, but we haven't actually set one up yet. So this is a, a new experience for us. Look how easy that was. It looks great. This drone does have a rear radar and upwards facing radar down up here. And it also has a big 360 radar on the bottom of the landing gear on the front. This looks awesome. It does. Yeah, exciting. Let's put a battery in there. We'll drop a battery in. A little bit later, we'll show you how the charging system works too. I like the orange. It's easy to see. Yeah. It'll definitely increase your uh, visual line of sight distance that you can actually operate in. And powering it on, the DJI guys that are out there, you guys are gonna love this drone. There's a lot of similarities in the operational side. A short press and then a long press to power on the battery. And the drone is on. We should hear it. I like the sound. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get all the props opened up so you guys can get a sense of scale here. I think we should get a measuring tape and see what it is from stem to stern. Yeah, you want to. You want to check yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. We can, we can take a look There's at that. There's one right there on the... Oh, how convenient. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't plan Almost that. Almost like you planned that. I actually didn't plan that. Here, grab that side. We, we didn't even move the boxes far away enough. Jeez. Oh, this measuring tape is not long <laughs> enough. So this is a 12 foot measuring tape and we're still got about at least another foot and a half. So I'd call this 13 and a half feet. 13 and a half feet. From end That's to pretty end. massive. It is enormous, yes. Fantastic, looks great. All right, let's uh, take a pause re real quick and then we'll show you the remote controller out here in the shade. Sounds good. All right, here's our remote controller and I love this remote. This is, uh, well first it comes in a really nice case. It's Absolutely. very well protected. It's got a cover on the top as well that you've got in your hand there. Um, nice bright screen on the front. It's very simply laid out. Two antennas on the top as well. Uh, this remote does have auxiliary batteries that fit in the back, and the best part is they're included and they give you two of them. Yeah. So with this setup, two auxiliary batteries, it has an in internal battery as well, along with the charger that's included, you get eight hours of runtime. Oh, so at least. So this is a, at least a day's worth of runtime. They also include an RTK uh, positioning marker uh, adapter for the remote. This is so fun unboxing everything like this, <laughs> I love it. 
that plugs in here that allows you to use a remote controller as a survey device as well. So what else is in here? Here's our charger for our auxiliary batteries. Very simple, nothing to it, you know? Just plug it in, drop your batteries in, and you're ready to go. One thing I liked about these is they have a, it beeps when it's done charging. Oh, that's okay. pretty handy. Great. So you, this you can is hear really it. nice. Yeah. What else we got in here? A couple more. Pretty knick -knacks. heavy too, actually. The... Actually a really nice little tool kit here. A little screwdriver kit. Straps for the remote. So if you are one of those guys that likes to use straps, that's included. And you got your manual. So and they've really included a lot. It's just simple, you know. So far, it's just easy, easy to use. No extra add-ons. It's just great. That's right. The only thing we can't show you yet, which we'll definitely do another video on, is we don't have the RTK system for it just yet, the base station. Yep. We'll do a separate video on that once we get it. Uh, but we wanted to just, we were too excited. We couldn't wait. So we I'm ready to get it up. in the air. Yeah, let's set it up. All right, let's awesome. do it. All right, so we've got our drone set up. We got our remote. <laughs> Ready to power on? Let's go ahead and power on the remote. Long press on that, right? Just hold it down, yep. Um, while we wait for that to power on, why don't we take a look at this charger? So I got it plugged in right now just to our wall outlet so I can demonstrate it. One thing that we have to perform with this aircraft is we have to activate the equipment. So we have to activate the charger. This shows a screen on here. It actually tells us it's not activated yet. So it shows us the battery percent, temperatures, all kinds of great information. And this is actually activated through the remote controller. So on the remote, it's powered on now. And we're going to go ahead and log in with my account. Now I've already created an account. Um, if you haven't created an account, you have to use a uh, website to create the account or an app. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my email. All right. Oh, you know what else too? I'm sure I have to Hook to connect the to the internet. I forgot yep. to do that. So this is an Android based system. So I can like swipe down from the top like that. Go to yep, network and internet. Let's go to Wi-Fi, which is not connected and we'll connect to our APSC new. Uh, yeah, we're right? just down at the bottom. Uh, I missed it. There's so many. Here we go. I'm not gonna show you guys the password, secret. <laughs> secret. Top secret. It's just HSE. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, Raptor five, six. dynamic. <laughs> awesome, so we are now connected. We can hit the back button here. Here we go back home. I'm still learning a little bit as you can see. Okay, here we go, UAV. Now I can sign in. So again, we're doing this in real time. Let me, oh, I gotta type it in again. Hang on, guys. I got this. Faster, faster. How Don't fast can I go? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. That's the password for everything here. All right. Oh wait, no exclamation point. Okay. Log in, and this should allow us. There it is. Logging in. Here we go. Select the team to fly. Yes, we're Raptor. gonna fly under Raptor. We are now logged in. All right, so now it is time to bind the remote and the drone. And George, you know this has been a nightmare in the oh past. Oh my goodness! It's you got to hold your foot up. You got to scratch your you head. Got to do that way. little dance, walk Dances, around in circles, press buttons, and count. It's ridiculous. Do a chant. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me show you how it's done on this. So we go to our our uh, page here, device management. Click on the remote, and right here, the remote controller and the drone are linked together. Start pairing. This is really interesting. Look. It says, tilt the drone 20 degrees until the lights turn on. Let's do it. So we go over to the drone, it's already powered on. Lift up the back, tilt it forward, and hold it. A little more, a little more, all the way. There we go. Hold it for a sec. We should see the lights power on. It takes a minute, I know it takes a minute. Did you hear that? Oh my Drone goodness. connected. The remote just said drone connected. Well, it's a good thing because I didn't want to pick this thing up and have to do the dance. No. How about that? Look at that. And it tells us the aircraft is not activated. We do need to activate the aircraft. Let's activate now. And there's an activation code that's provided by your dealer. So we're going to put that in and I got to see what it is. I have it on my board right here. 
All right, we got our activation code in. Let's hit confirm. I probably typed it wrong. What does it say? HD 7783F? Oh, uh, wait. B3F. Oh, B. So your eight's. eight's it's my own handwriting on the board, by the way. <laughs> B3F. There, you know, it's a good day if the hardest part is it's reading already your activated. Handwriting. Pairing successful, activated, and the drone is basically ready to perform our updates. And you can see it's telling us there's updates available. That's it. That was pretty fast. I mean, how long did that take? A minute? <laughs> well, it took a lot longer for you to type the code in than it yeah, did you're right. to actually okay, connect. Come on, come on, stop. <laughs> All right, we do also need to activate our chargers. So let's go ahead and tap on our smart chargers and we already have it powered on search for chargers hang on i might have to push the bluetooth, the bluetooth on. button no it's already it's on already on. should find it go oh, there and it there is there it is connect i mean this is too easy this is great i'm not used to this yeah you guys have seen my other videos they're an hour long <laughs> I was telling the team earlier, it's like, oh, this is just going to be a really quick introduction. I'm not actually going to show the process, but Might now we're show actually the showing it, you know? It's too easy. Connecting. Give it a second. And of course, we're going to run our updates and everything, but I mean, this is pretty darn easy. We do also have to activate our batteries. I'll show you that as well. Let's see. Is it going to connect? That is on, right? Yes, it is. All right. I think it just takes a minute. But in the meantime, um, we can talk about some of the battery charging options. Some things I like about the uh, charger is you can adjust the power level for it. So I think it can go anywhere from 1,000 to 9,000 Or 9,000 9, or 9,500. It's something fast. Like that. I mean, yeah. it charges the batteries in just a few minutes. Um, but it allows you to reduce the level. So if you want to charge on a smaller generator, for example, you have a limited power output, you can adjust it, which is really handy. And it also tells you what each cell has on the remote as you're... Um... That's right. You can actually... Oh, but I, I think I hit cancel. Make sure we have our Bluetooth. Oh, there it is. Oops, I closed it. So there's our smart charger. We'll hit the activate. Confirm. Activation, Activation succeeded. succeeded. That's it. So we are ready to go and update all our equipment, charge up our Being batteries. Connected, it's good to Everything's go. Everything's good to go. So we can hit start upgrading or click on the device and uh, there's a button at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. It's a, uh, where's the update button? You just missed it, it was at the bottom over there. Well, I think. Anyway, we'll run our, our firmware updates. It's showing us there's updates available. Um, but it's really that simple. I mean, the drone, we could actually fly it right now if we wanted to. Oh, the battery activation, almost forgot. Hit start. Before spraying, please confirm whether the Hit duct air is the exhausted. Right. Go to the battery, go to the bottom, and hit activate. I mean, that is really pretty darn simple. There's nothing to it. We just set up the entire drone in just a matter of minutes. There's some other little things like the calibration of the spraying system, but that part's really simple too. I mean, the drone is ready to operate though. So that is what do crazy. you think about that, George? That was super fast, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Well, I think we'll stop here since we'll charge up our battery and get it ready to go. Absolutely. And our next videos are gonna be getting this thing in the air and More showing, to come. You, showing you what it can actually do. So stay tuned. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.